Hey everyone, this is Mike. And I'm Michelle. And we are Lovey's Fat Life. Hey, and today we're going to take you on a Bonaire cruise golf cart excursion in Bonaire. We're going to travel the island, do the southern tour, and give you the sights, not the sounds because there's a lot of wind here, but we're going to see the sights in Bonaire, and then we're going to talk about it along the way. Thank you. All right, so you'll walk right past the security at this little tent, this little canopy. You'll walk up these steps, and right between these yellow buildings, you'll walk all the way till you come to a street, and you'll make a left there, and then you'll walk down a sidewalk, and on the right will be Bonaire Cruisers. I'll try to put a uh, info link up here to a previous video. Once you walk through the cute little yellow buildings, turn left and you will be able to see the ship. Go down some steps and you will be able to walk right at the water and look at the ship. Uh, to the right, you will see the Bon Air Cruisers tent um, that we rented from. So we have the Bonaire Cruisers cart. There's the Horizon cruise ship. We're coming down Kaya International, I believe is the name of it. You see the mountains there on the north side. So this is one of our favorite spots, Michelle. Is it one of your favorites as well? It absolutely is. Man, you saw that peace sign, and that is the absolute tr truth here. It's just so peace and tranquil, and this color of this water, uh, Michelle. And the clarity. It's <laughs> just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely love it. And you'll see divers here or people going down and doing snorkeling. That's something we haven't done here that we definitely want to do. But uh, this is a, a famous place where a lot of people pull over. They'll get out their uh, snorkel or their diving equipment and they'll go out and just you know have a good time in the water but it is just really beautiful isn't it, michelle it's beautiful and that is the most treacherous staircase ever yeah it is <laughs> it's really dangerous and scary at the same time but this is one of the best photo opportunities so get your camera out take some selfies get a friend to take some pictures this is definitely one of the best places in bonaire to take a photo you won't regret it All right, so this is one of another one of our favorite places to pull over. It's like a little resort to the left, but it's got some great photo opportunities. And Michelle, what's over here to the right? This is just a little dive shop that you could rent equipment, um, but the area is just beautiful there. Yeah, it's a great photo opportunity. There's also an old hotel or apartment there to uh, take photos of that artists put. But this is the Salt Flats too, so there's some aerial views of this that are incredible. You got the right side with the turquoise water. To the left side, you got the uh, the pink uh, salt flats with the foam. Uh, and then there's all kinds of pullover uh, areas here. And Michelle and Anthony are here in the golf cart. Yes. And we've got Michelle Halstead and Mike walking around filming. Yep. And Josh is back there supervising. <laughs> There are a few sandy beaches um, that are really um, great for um, walking out into the water. However, most of the island is very rocky, um, but that adds just a different kind of beauty. Yeah, and then here you got the ships. Uh, with the salt flats, the salt comes down a conveyor system across the bridge and then goes into that uh, ship to take off. These little huts were built around 1850, and these were for the slaves who worked in the salt flats. They would store their belongings there and sleep at night in these huts. All 
All right, as Michelle said, um, you know, these huts were for those that were working in the salt flats. Uh, after a long day of work and many, many hours, they would come back, put the personal belongings in here during the daytime, and they would sleep here at night. A lot of times their family was several miles away, three or four miles away. It was just too far to go back uh, at night and then be back the next morning. We're gonna take a look on the inside of one of these. Uh, I don't know if these were the actual structures that were there or just like kind of a replica of it. I think for the most part they are. Uh, except for, of course, the roof, it would be a little different with straw and so forth. So, yeah, definitely check both of these out. We're going to show you a little bit of a glimpse of the uh, orange ones as well. Or actually, they call them yellow or yellow. One of my favorite things is riding in the golf cart and looking over to the right and seeing these kite surfing, kite boarding going on. And it's just incredible with the number of them and the different colors and uh, the wind is really, you know, really windy here. Of course, the wind is windy, but uh, you just saw that person go way up, come down and crash. Michelle, what'd you think about it? It's awesome to watch them. Their poise and agility and just, you know, it's just awesome to watch. Yeah, if you've never seen it before, then we live in North Carolina. You don't you don't see this. I'm sure they do it in some parts of the year around Wilmington. But just being here and, and respecting and looking at them and seeing, like you said, their mobility and agility is awesome. Uh, there's also places uh, they have a school. Like here, here we are again riding down uh, the road and looking over to the right of them. But we actually stop at a little school. I think it was a kiteboard. It's called Bonaire Kiteboarding School. Uh, yeah, here we are with it. And it's just got a little bit of information here. Um, uh, again, extremely windy, as you can see. And they kind of get these kites up and going first, and then somebody comes and gets them and then goes out into the water. So that was interesting to see that as well. Uh, but here, we're just going to let you watch a little bit of this, and then we're going to walk out on the beach. Anyone who knows me knows how much I love animals and the experience to stop and see these donkeys on the side of the road is just awesome. Um, they were giving us a little bit of the stink eye so I don't know that I would have approached them but they were just awesome to stop and see. All right, here we're at the yellow or orange, I think they're actually called yellow uh, slave huts. Again, this is the same as the others. These were built around the 1850s and used to store personal belongings and to sleep at night before working in the salt flats. Here we have the Willem Storen Lighthouse that sits on the southern tip of the island. And you can see how rough these waters are. The structure in the distance is the lightkeeper's house.
All right, so we're about to finish this up and start heading back uh, north towards the ship. But look here how rough this water is. But this is a cool little bridge you go over and how crystal clear this water is. It was really awesome. But you'll notice that the further south you get, the water gets more rough. And look right here, just pounding the rocks. Those beaches right in this area also are just extremely rocky. All right, so now it's time to get our grub on. And we've ate here before, but this is called Foodies. And uh, this is a cool little place. Uh, I don't know if Michelle would like to call it quaint, eclectic, whatever. We'll ask her opinion here both, okay. So they got a cool little bar here where they have the license tags from all over the US and the world. Um, nice place to get you a little drink. And then um, we're gonna show you the food here. We got some sandwiches, but Michelle, what'd you think of this place? I think it is awesome. Like Mike said, it is, it is quaint, eclectic. Um, it is wonderful. It's outdoor um, breezes are coming in. The food is terrific. Um, just the whole atmosphere is just wonderful. I love it. Yeah, so not only can you get you some food, you can get you a drink. Uh, they have nice restrooms here as well, but uh, the price is a little bit higher than in, than you know back here in the states of course but it's worth it it's, you're in aruba and bonaire they're going to be higher prices but we absolutely love this we got here right when they opened and as you leave you'll see how busy it got all right so i got a chicken sandwich gouda cheese pineapple cucumbers tomato some fries side of mayo Michelle got the foodie burger. What else on there, Michelle? It's got onions and it looks like um, Thousand Island dressing, cheese, pickles, um, and bacon. Cool deal. Hey, so we just finished up eating here at Foodies and the food was awesome, as Michelle said earlier. You can see some of the Bonaire carts riding down the road. Everybody's heading back to turn the carts in and get on the ship. So I highly recommend this. Uh, Michelle, what'd you think about it? If I were given the opportunity, I would do it again right this minute. Yeah. Yeah, Bonaire Cruisers is, I think, one of ours, if not the, it's probably my favorite excursion we've done here. Look at these views right here. I mean, I can, editing this video is, I can sit here and watch this all day long. Me too, and I, I want to go right back. So, out of a score of 1 to 10, Michelle, at Bonaire Cruisers, what would you say? 10. I would give it a 10 as well. Bonaire is one of our favorite islands because I think more than anything, the excursion and ride around and see the different parts of it. But hey, what do you guys think? Please like and subscribe to Lovey's Fat Life.